Hey guys, Kevin with MC Rider. Instead of our regular Tuesday video, got something a little bit different today and an announcement to make. Our announcement is we're going to change our scheduling up a little bit. We're going to start releasing our training videos on Saturday. Been watching the analytics for the last few weeks, and it looks like a lot of people are coming on on Saturday mornings. They're looking for training, looking for something to do on the weekends to work on their motorcycle skills. So Saturday morning looks like a better fit for our training videos. So watch for our next uh, training video to come out on a Saturday morning. Today, however, I want to introduce you to a product that I got in the mail a few weeks ago. Something that I think is pretty cool. And something that I had thought about actually before I even knew it existed. So I was really excited when I found this out on the web. So stay tuned after the introduction. I'll introduce you to a product that I think is pretty cool, and I think you will too. So I was actually riding in the car one day, talking about motorcycles in this channel to my wife, as I've been known to do. And I was telling her about what my dream setup for a camera system would be. Something that recorded simultaneously the front and the back of the motorcycle. Uh, started recording as soon as I turned the bike on. Stopped recording when I turned it off. And something that would uh, delete older videos as newer ones were made. So that you didn't have to continually mess with the, the filing system. And little did I know such product existed. Uh, it was browsing around on the web one day and went to web bike world really great website if you guys haven't been to web bike world but they have tons of product reviews and then somebody was reviewing uh, this inov uh, k1 system uh, front and uh, rear camera system for motorcycles it hardwires in so you can see it's got a front camera here a rear camera it hardwires into the motorcycle and they all wire into this DVR system that records what's happening in front of and behind the motorcycle at all times. It also has a button here that you can place on the motorcycle uh, because this unit stays under the seat. This unit you keep, or this button you keep within reach. And if you reach down and tap that button, it automatically saves that section of video and puts it in a different folder on the SD card. Uh, you can set it up to record in one minute through, I think, 10 minute increments. I've got mine set up right now to record five minute increments. So every five minutes while I'm riding on the motorcycle, it starts a new video. If I tap that button at any time, it's going to save that, make sure and save that video so that it's not overwritten. Also has a GPS unit uh, that goes in with the system so that you can pull up GPS coordinates I haven't quite been able to figure that part of it out yet. Hey, scratch that comment. Since I recorded this, I figured it out, and I'll show you how to use it at the end. It's some pretty cool stuff. But supposedly it is recording uh, the GPS positioning uh, that I can pull up with the video at any time that I'm uh, recording. So it's really pretty cool. Uh, you start the bike up, it's something you don't have to think about. You start the bike up, it starts recording. You stop the bike shut the bike down, it quits recording. Uh, I'll walk over in a minute and we'll look at it on my Tenere. That's the bike that I've got it set up on. And I'll also show you some video that I've shot with the system. And you may not realize it, but some of the video that I used a couple weeks ago was from this system. Uh, I've been testing it for two or three weeks now and been really happy with this uh, setup. So we'll go over to the bike in a minute and we'll take a look at how I installed it. One word uh, before we get to that, just want to let you know that Inoff sent this to me free of charge uh, for my review here on MC Rider. They in no way told me what I needed to say about it. They just sent me a system and said, tell your uh, viewers what you think about the system. So that's what I'm doing now, uh, giving you my honest opinion. I've spent multiple weeks trying to build up trust with you guys so that uh, you'll trust me with your motorcycle training, and I'm not about to uh, hurt that trust uh, for a camera system. Uh, they sent it to me free of charge. I'm giving you my honest opinion on the system, 
if you choose to buy one, I don't make any profit from it. It's not an affiliate for me, uh, but I will provide a link to the uh, website where you can order one for yourself if you choose to. So with all that said, let's uh, take a walk over to the bike and I'll show you how I installed it on my Tenere. So here's the front camera. I had a nice place to mount it where I've got the GPS mounted. Uh, it sits in a nice position, but if I was to do this all over again, I'd probably move it because I didn't think about all the reflection and glare I would get off the windshield. And you'll see that in a little bit when we start showing you some video from the camera. It gets uh, quite a bit of glare from that windshield, but it, it is protected at least back there. The uh, cameras themselves are waterproof, so you don't have to worry about those getting wet. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but that's a nice uh, grade aluminum. It's not a plastic camera like you get with the GoPro. It's a really well-made camera. Uh, there's the back. I put that on the bracket for the rear license plate. And it sits back there pretty nice. So this is the GPS unit. I found a place under the seat. The uh, GPS portion and speaker are not waterproof. So you do kind of have to get that in a place to protect it. And then here's the DVR unit. And you can see the wires coming into it for the front, rear, GPS, and the power. So you've got four different cables that come into it. The various menu buttons and mode buttons. Recording started. Uh, and I'll turn it on here for you and give you a chance to hear what it sounds like starting up. From that, you can switch the mode to view just the front camera. You can flip it back to the rear camera. And then that's the front uh, camera on the left and the rear camera on the right. And here's a shot of that button that I installed on the front fairing. Anytime I tap that, it's going to make sure and protect that video file it moves it into a different directory actually and make sure that it's accessible and doesn't get overwritten by the other files so here's some video from the front camera uh, you can kind of see that glare mainly over on the left side in this shot uh, that I'll probably get rid of that I'll move that camera down under the front of the motorcycle under the headlight be a little bit less protected there but I think it'll really improve the video shot because it will get rid of a lot of that glare that you're seeing right now. One thing that's cool about it, you can hear the engine noise. That's recorded from the DVR unit and because the DVR is under the seat, you don't have to deal with all the wind noise like you would with the GoPro. Uh, this was a windy day when this was, was recorded and no wind noise at all. All you can hear is the engine. Here's some various front and rear shots around downtown Fort Worth. That's the historic courthouse there in the foreground. You can see here in a second when we show the rear camera. Well, occasionally, depending on how the sun gets it, it gets that weird line uh, through there. Uh, I've noticed that only on the rear camera. And it's when the sun is in a particular position, you'll get that, uh, that strange line that comes down through the video. This is the stockyard area just north of downtown Fort Worth and it's kind of how Fort Worth got its uh, start it was a place where cowboys would meet up and they would start their cattle drives north up through Oklahoma and the stockyard was where they would uh, begin a lot of those cattle drives from. So here's a local burger joint uh, called Kincaid's. This is the original location was started in the back of this store it used to be a grocery store and the owner of the store started cooking hamburgers out of the back became so famous for that that uh, people started coming here for hamburgers all the time it was voted at one time as the best burger in the united states and i can't ride by Kincaid's without going in for a burger myself so there i go in for a bite to eat because you know it was lunch time anyway so what the heck 
So here's some video I shot not too far from my house, and it'll give you an idea of why something like this might be useful. You can see the speed down in the bottom left hand portion of the screen and the GPS is tracking on the map in the upper left. These were edited post process but the GPS of the system is what allows us to keep track of this. Watch this car coming up here on the right. Yeah, he didn't even slow down and look till he got out in the road. So you can see how something like this might come in handy. So that gives you a quick look at the Inov K1 motorcycle camera system. I've been really happy with the unit. Uh, there are a couple of things that I would change on it. The quality is not quite as good as GoPro, but for the convenience, man, that just trumps that. Starts recording when you start up, ends recording when you shut down, uh, saves all the video files uh, till they get to be too old and then it overwrites them. And at any time you can hit that button and it will save that video file to protected directory on the SD card. And it's always been there when I got back to the house. I've not had any technical issues with it. The GPS unit and the DVR portion of it are not waterproof. So you do have to kind of take care from those to make sure you don't get them wet. Uh, the DVR stays under the seat. I've been keeping it in a plastic bag. There's probably a better solution, but that's what I've been doing for right now. Uh, in case any water happens to get into that area, I've kind of got it protected. And then the GPS portion of it, I think if you just keep the screen covered, you know, maybe a piece of clear tape or something like that over it uh, would help protect that as well. So not a big deal, but uh, is something to be aware of if you get a unit and you mount it on your motorcycle. Uh, there are a couple of parts of it that are not waterproof. As of the recording of this video, the system sells for $265. So it's quite a bit cheaper for, than the GoPro. And for that, you get two cameras, front and rear. It goes into a centralized unit. You get GPS tracking with that as well. And you get that nice little button that you can hit at any time to save video files as you're riding down the road. So it offers a lot of features that the GoPro doesn't. Though the video quality may not be quite as good, the audio quality is better because you've got the microphone in a protected area under the seat and you don't have to deal with all that wind noise like you do on a GoPro. So overall, I'm really happy with the system. I can honestly say that if it uh, quit working uh, today, I'd buy another one. Uh, I think it's going to be a part of my workflow in presenting these videos to you. For me, it's um, partly a safety thing. I mean, if something happens, I know that I've got a video recording of it. But more importantly for me, it's just the convenience of every time I get on the motorcycle, I know that I've got footage coverage for the front and rear of the motorcycle so that I can uh, present these training videos to you guys. So it's a huge benefit for that. For you, uh, it's cheaper than a GoPro. It's got a whole lot more flexibility than a GoPro. You install it and forget about it, and you know that uh, it's recording video anytime that you're on the bike and you're running. You've got video there if you want to tap that button and save it. So it's got a lot of features. The video quality is probably not quite as good, um, but you know the convenience of it just trumps it for me. So it's a system I plan on sticking with until I can find something better. But right now, uh, for the money especially, that K1 system from Inov is a good deal. we got a little bit of family business to take care of for the next few days, so I may be out of pocket for a bit, but you'll hear from me within the next week or so, and we'll be back with another training video here at mcrider.com. Guys, thanks. I appreciate all the support, all the emails, all the comments I've been getting from you guys. It truly means a lot. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the road.